What's up guys, welcome back to Modded Room World, where today we're going to be setting up our workshop and hopefully some storage, probably some storage. We're going to start with some storage, guys. Now we need to get power everywhere else. I want to give these guys lights in their rooms, maybe a little wall light right here, somewhere in that area that feels like a nice spot. Uh, let's see, we got, we got floors that need to get put down as well. This whole growing area is nice and full of great things, and I think everything's actually been tilled as well, which is nice. Wouldn't mind putting some pathways through here. Maybe we can do that with... I don't know, do I... Maybe I use the dirt for that. I never actually thought about that. Using, uh... Ooh, can I not do rich soil anymore? Places dirt onto smooth floors to grow crops. Oh, there's rich soil right there. Grow some more flowers on it. Maybe we use rich soil between the zones. I don't know, I never really thought about that. It looks nice though. I want to get some pathways through there. Uh, so yeah, let's set up a workshop. We need to get all of our stuff out of the, I guess, out of the environment, out of nature. It needs to be stored in a, a dark, cozy place. So I suppose we do that. And also, also, guys, I put it off long enough. It is time for a research bench, which that one extra space is going to drive me nuts. I'll take out this door. That's what we'll do. <laughs> we'll take out this door. And we'll put a wall there, and we'll have a research bench in here. Excellent. Excellent. I feel like things are going to go well for this colony. It's such a huge difference playing this first and then jumping over to record the zombie series just because, I guess, the the environment, it feels kind of the same, but then it's like, it's this, but with lots of trees everywhere. So it feels a bit off, just ever so slightly. Also, I guess, you know, zombies or a thing. Uh, so this is gonna be a, a very tiny workshop that will probably expand out this way a little bit, which means we need storage this way, which means trade beacons. Now, where do I want to put these? I feel like right here is gonna be a spot for me. No, right here. This is the spot for me. Yes, yeah, so we'll start with this. We'll just kind of round it up top and then go from there. Let's go ahead and delete this, and we will not create that yet. Let's go ahead and scrap metal wall off this section. We're out of metal. Ooh, that's not great. Let's go ahead and get this going. We found metal, guys. <laughs> I guess it's just not stored. We have a raid. Oh my. So we'll get that going, and I guess we'll... I don't know, where do we leave the spot for the door? Here? Sounds good. Raid. What do we got going on? Pirates from the crossbowmen have arrived in drop pods nearby. They're going to prepare for a while and then attack. They're actually really close. We're going to have contacts, like, immediately. So we're going to go ahead and bring Maleth over here because I'm pretty sure he's going to be able to shoot them straight away. What is a range? Oh my. <laughs> they don't actually have crossbows. Oh my. He's got a dragon off. Or she's got a dragon off. That is actually kind of scary. 102. So... I, I don't think We're Boned quite covers it. But I've, I have been re-watching Futurama again for probably like the 6th or 7th time. Can you see any of them? Can you hit... Copeland? Why not? What's your... What, I guess your range goes to like here. I don't want to get him that close. That's terrible. I guess go over here to these rocks. Like maybe here? We need you to shoot Copeland. We need you to take Copeland out. Suppress Copeland. Oh my, just out of range. Uh, now that they've made it to their waiting spot, I'm assuming that Copeland's gonna fire as soon as, as, soon as she can. We, we need to take Copeland out. Yep, there goes Copeland. Aiming. I'm so scared for you, Maleth. If you die, I'm so sorry. Okay, she didn't hit. This is... This is terrifying. Do we have anyone else with... I, I mean, we have a shotgun. We have a pistol. We could maybe take Zinks and, like, run them wide. And then come up through here and flank. Let's try to do that. Zinks, buddy. We need you to go this way. Let's see, Needles and Clark... Needles is doing stuff. Needles is getting suppressed. Maleth is reloading. 
Zinx is gonna have to just hurry, Zinx. Please hurry. Please hurry. Oh, she hit him. Oh, that's not good. He ate porridge. <laughs> well feed porridge. Oh, he got a bruise. All right, we can live with that. Power armor OP. I'm so glad we found that. Zinx, hurry, please. Needles is coming with his AK-47. That's actually not great. He is now in range of Malith, who needs to fall back. Zinx, keep coming this way. Malith, taking some rounds. Malith, run. Do do as I command. There we go. All right, are you okay? Are you all right? You're now bleeding in the torso. This is actually kind of scary. Just the guns that they landed with. All right, so your range is not good. We need you to just run straight this way. While Needles is getting suppressed, we need you to make it. You have to make... Zinx is going to be a hero right now. Okay, he's going to get so close to use this shotgun. And he's practically naked. By practically, I mean he has pants and a helmet on. Alright, do we outrange Needles? I think we do. Can you hit him, though? That's the thing. Shooting of six, careful shooter. I, it would be nice if they would get suppressed to where Zinx could run in and pew-pew a little bit. I mean, we have Molotovs if they get close, and then some pistols, but... Other than that, Zinx just has to, like, hang out over here, and he's so low on food. Did you bring food with you? You did. If I let you eat, you're not going to, like, go in a weird place, are you? Okay, you're going to go to the cover spot. That's good. That's good. Maybe we have everyone hide. Because they just so outrange us. Is that is that what we do? Is that the best thing? Have everyone stay inside, and then we all pop out with pistols and hope for the best? I hope we don't die. This would be this would be so disapp Oh, Clark, you're so dead. Clark, you're screwed. Zinx has this. Zinx? Yes! No, Clark! No! Zinx! Edge? You got the headshot! You gotta win! Oh no! What is that? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Steel armor vest. Oh, that's terrifying. Zinx is down. Malev is down. Oh no. Have we made a huge mistakes? We <laughs> have we made a huge mistakes. Mistakes were definitely made. Uh, I'm gonna draft everyone and then have you guys sit in here and you guys, if you could all come out to this area. Hunter can't do anything. Salad, come over here as well. We need to get people inside. They're gonna kid. Yep, they're gonna kidnap. They're gonna take Zinx. They're gonna. Who can shoot? Salad, can you shoot? You can. You're slow though. Equip the assault rifle. All right, JC, rescue. That's a steel door. JC, rescue Mela. You guys do whatever you want. Salad, go. We're not gonna. We're not gonna save Zinx. There's. There's no way we make it. Molded Salad is actually getting hits off on Needles. Salad, can you make it to where you can hit Clark? Oh, this is not good. Salad, go. Go, 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 go. Flank, can you hit him? Come on. Yes, hit him, hit him, hit him. Yes! All the... the... My hands are in the air, guys. That was... I'm... It's taking all of my control to just not scream right now. That is like... You need that Hail Mary for that touchdown. You need that header into the goal to win. Oh my goodness, like, I just, yes, yes, that shot, oh my goodness, Molded Salad, you are keeping the M16, you beautiful, beautiful human being, now go rescue Zinx, Dragon, you're consuming a simple meal, I don't care, I want you to capture Clark, we don't have a place for Clark, we need a prison, we'll build a prison over here, for now he can bleed to death. I don't even care. This is his prison. Right there. With a steel door f for great justice. Alright. You guys, that felt really good. We're out of wood. Oh, no, we're not out of wood. I was going to say, we're out of wood and we're out of steel, but it's just we took the the thing down. Uh, we'll do a steel door here, I suppose. That's fine. Oh, my goodness. Clark. Buddy. You just... 15 skill of shooting neurotic. Oh my goodness. Colonist needs treatment. I know we don't have any medicine. 
But the uh, the Zera gum is not even close to being finished. So there's always that. Who needs treatment? Is it? It's yeah. It's Maleth. Okay, he's been bandaged. Thank you for that. Zinx is gonna get bandaged soon, hopefully as well. Sloth doing great, great works. Let's go ahead and uh, put a. We'll build an actual. We're not. We're gonna build a sleeping spot for you. Right. Well, I guess for right now we don't need both of them. We'll just put the one in here, and then we'll have uh, we'll have Sloth who's harvesting a potato plant. We'll have Molded Salad, who's... Con no, he deserves that meal. JC is feeding. Sordon is sleeping. Wake up. Capture Clark, please. Let's see. Now, the survival rifle isn't great. But at the same time... Let's see. Dragon, can you shoot? Not really. <laughs> uh, I guess we can give that to Maleth. We can give that to Maleth. Uh, Salad is hauling potatoes. Can you... Can you haul this? No empty place. Okay, did we get the door up and then I can build the... Yes. Okay, great. Stockpile. There we go. Did that. That's a weird stockpile you made for us. We're gonna... Wait. What now? Okay. <laughs> it, it turned green, so it freaked me out a little bit. Uh, let's, let's get rid of this guy right there. That was weird. I've never seen it go over a door like that. Uh, yeah, molded salad. You're sleeping. I'm sorry that you're sleeping, but can you come get the shotgun? There's wood over there? All that. Why is... Just a log of wood? Just a log of wood. I'm... I was gonna say I'm surprised it's taken me this long to build trees. Not build trees, but plant an area for trees, but then I realized I'm not actually surprised at all. That's totally classic me. Uh, in this rich soil area, this is rich soil, right? Yeah, it's rich soil. We're gonna we're gonna make a giant tree zone, and I am gonna misshape it a little bit. I don't think that's a word, but it is now. So it kind of just fills this zone as best as possible, and also just isn't a, a giant square of trees, because well, nice can occasionally get a little boring. It's just like hey, it's a giant. Let's go. Oh, that didn't work. That was that was my bad. Nah, that didn't work, and I don't know why that didn't work. There we go. We got some music coming in. Oh, this feels nice, you guys. This feels nice. I am excited. Let's get this going. Let's get this going. No, stop. Stop planting potatoes, though. <laughs> We're gonna grow these. Uh, Cacropria trees just because they are the quickest growing tree and it is going to be cold soon So I want to get at least a harvest of wood coming on in That way we can hopefully have some wood through the winter Yes, I am going to fill this section. I do apologize if if you hate me right now But it's just it's one of those things. It's got to look nice guys It's got to it's got to look nice There we go. Plant me a tree. Alright. Score. You know, that wasn't a, a terrible job. I was going to say I wasn't trying too hard, but I was trying relatively hard. Uh, we, we totally try to recruit you. 86 difficulty. Oh my goodness. Have you been... You have no injuries. You're totally okay. That's fine, I guess. Zinx is up and about. It's good to hear. You can get your shotgun. Uh, we have some pistols now. Normal pistol and a normal pistol. So what do we have for weapons? Let's see. You have dementia. We're going to give you this pistol just so you have something. Uh, JC. I don't know. We'll give, we'll give a dragon the hunting rifle. Sordon has his... We'll give him an elephant tusk. We'll sell the other one. But we'll give him the elephant tusk. Alright, so now we have stockpile area for stuffs and we can get a workbench of some kind down uh, we need medicine for hunter we do have the prosthetic leg still we're getting bamboo in which is fantastic uh, so now we can put in some bamboo floors which I actually don't know where I want to put the bamboo floors in maybe in here maybe let's let's put it in the kitchen let's see how it looks in here bamboo floors look, look at that now, to be fair, I have bamboo floors 
in the room I'm currently in. And they're not green. But I guess you could have a green bamboo floor. I'm not sure how long it would last. Wouldn't it just eventually change color as it slowly dies? I really don't know. That's kind of a serious question. Um, but I do like it. It's a nice color pop. And we don't have much wood. I don't really want to use all the bamboo. <laughs> like, I don't want to make just bamboo floors because that would be insane. But at the same time, we're going to have it, so we might as well use it. We don't have much other wood, so there's that. And we're going to be using steel for pretty much everything. Speaking of which, let us do this. Looks like we can mine clear through this other side. Alright, so a pathway through here isn't going to happen right now. Uh, what can we get for production? What do we really need at the moment? Uh, a tailor's bench might not necessarily be the worst of ideas. We need to get some research going, of course. Uh, I really like recycle apparel. That way we can get some extra fabric coming on in the beginning to maybe make some parkas or just some basic clothing uh, because people need basic clothing. Pneumatic picks would probably be pretty good just because of how much we're mining uh, to get the steel that we need. And then of course we have all of the, the prosthetics and organ engineering stuff to research as well. Candy making and baking, not so much. Let's see. I don't think we're going to have enough for recycle apparel right now to be super worthwhile. Let's go ahead and get uh, pneumatic picks and then maybe we'll get stone cutting so we can start making some, some of our out structures out of stone. I did get a question about... Uh, how I was possibly going to design the ship. Is Zinx missing something? Oh, he's missing a kidney. And his eye now has a scar. Oh my goodness. Was that from the one shot or the two shots? Oh, that sucks. We could take a kidney from Clark, but if we recruit Clark, then Clark would be missing a kidney, and it would just be a, a cycle of kidney snatching. Anyways, I got a comment asking about uh, basically how I was going to lay out the ship. Uh, at least my thoughts on what I was going to build it out of. And I think what I'm going to do is once we start planning it out, we're going to lay out the whole thing uh, in an outer shell of scrap metal. And then from there, we're only going to use uh, metal type or, yeah, I guess metal type uh, structures, or not structures, uh, blocks. So steel, maybe if we feel like it, some silver and gold, and then possibly some vancidium if we can get our hands on that as well. Uh, but we're going to start with a scrap metal outer layer and possibly interior, and then we'll replace it as we go. But the, the scrap metal is going to be kind of our framework that we're going to build against. Very nice. We have plasteel right away. I'm going to cancel that and just save it. I mostly want the steel. Let's see, so we're getting, we're getting the picks. Dragon is our researcher. And I feel like we can run some power over here, but also get some power back here as well. Did we talk about getting power back here? I wouldn't mind having a couple of wind turbines like right here and then having some solar panels behind them. So we'll we'll do that and then we need a battery room. I guess this is connected to the battery room. Uh, so I guess we'll just we'll connect it up. We'll do it. I think this is just going to extend straight out, so we'll bring... Wow, that was really close. <laughs> we'll bring this over here and just kind of walk it down in. And then this can come up, go along the side up here, come through the back, and we'll be good to go. Alright, that should be pretty good. Now we can actually get lights in places which I think is going to be pretty great. There's a ceiling light for you, Dragon, so you're not researching in the dark. Let's get some wall lights in here, which I absolutely adore. Let's maybe put them two away from the corner. And then maybe we'll do... Like, like so, perhaps. And let us not forget to connect this up to the wall. Thankfully we had a good amount of steel next to our base. Ah, this needs power as well. Alright, so medicine. We really need medicine. Food. We're actually doing really well on food. Um, the oats are growing a lot. How many harvests of oats have we had? I see a lot of rice in here right now. 
Uh, we're getting beans, which is great. We can make tofu out of the beans. Let's see, can we do that from here? No. No, we can't. So we need... I believe the canning stove will let us do that. So if we put... Where do we put this? I was thinking about just putting it right here. But... I don't know. I mean, there's so much stuff. We'll put it right here. I think the oven? How large is the oven? Is the oven also a three? I think the oven is also a three. Uh, so we're not going to have much room in here. So we'll put it right there. And from there we can turn the beans into tofu and well, I guess we don't really need meat at the moment. Do we really need the canning stove? I don't think so. Not particularly. I still want to get floors everywhere. Let's get some bamboo floors in here. And then stone cutting so we can get... We're going to get stone cutting after the pick so we can start making some, some better buildings, have some stone floors outside. Past that, I really don't know. I guess we could start planning out the ship. What cargo pods landed? Carrots, how close are you? You're not terribly far away, considering it's free food. Alright, so there's one, two, three, four. Maybe, maybe this is the fourth one. Elephants need hunted, of course. And I guess we could probably start working on some clothing. We have 182 cow skin, 202 elephant skin, which is about to go up. And then 135 muffalo leather. That would let us get at least a few shirts. So people can have shirts and maybe pants. Dragon, are you naked? You have pants at least, but not the greatest of pants. Clark is still eating food, not reciprocating any affection. Which makes me a little on the sad side. I mean, I just, I feel like the ceiling light is the way to go in here. <laughs> but at the same time, maybe we do a couple of wall lights, like maybe... Maybe like one right here, and then one right here here. I like it. Where did I put it? I don't, uh, one away from the door. Okay. Yes. I approve. And just so we don't have power cords running all over the place, we'll do this and this. And, and this, because power cords, they bug me. <laughs> they really do. Svenbjorn is hauling the elephant tusk. Oh, this is weird. Please don't... That was just... The... <laughs> Are you... He's missing constantly at this range. That's, that's what's happening. I'm, I'm so glad that ammo isn't a thing in this game. The lights feel super fantastic. I like them. I like the bamboo floors. I really like the color pop, guys. I really do. Sword and do a bit of research. Still haven't set up manual priority, so... I mean, stuff's getting done at the moment. I'm not going to complain too much. Is it, uh, is it optimal? Absolutely not. But when do I do the optimal thing? Are beans finished? We did get a harvest of beans, so I think what we're going to go ahead and do is just say, screw you to these beans, and we're going to mess up. <laughs> Clearly they get the last laugh. Uh, we're going to expand our corn growing zone to down here. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, so almost done. Not almost done, but we started our research at least for the, uh, for the pneumatic picks. We're going through steel like crazy. So I guess we go mine some more steel. I kind of want to just run this straight through to see what we get. 5% chance to recruit, to recruit Clark. I do want to open this up to make a, a slightly nicer prison. He's probably a little grumps right now. Maybe we can get him a real bed as well. Perhaps we'll do that. Clark, would you enjoy having a larger room? I'm not a fan of that eclipse, but hey... What are you going to do about it? This right here should hopefully keep us powered, along with our batteries. 
if we could actually get some wind coming in. Nothing's blocking him. If you could... There we go. Get some of that wind coming in. And that's actually increasing our power gain, so... Fair enough. And hello, Raw. Hello. Now, I would like to say, uh, because I was notified that the hospitality mod, which adds this little guest tab right here, you can actually improve uh, faction relations with guests or try to just straight up recruit them. The hospitality mod has been updated to include a new furniture item uh, called guest beds, and now the guest AI will actually use guest beds that are in your colony as well as uh, using joy items and basically just kind of hang out and you can actually set up little guest type areas for them uh, which is pretty neat. The mod page says it is supposed to be compatible with your your games and stuff. Uh, I had a little bit of an issue with it but guys just you know check it out definitely check it out. Um, just because I had problems doesn't mean you will. Uh, I, I've talked to someone that had a perfect flawless update so clearly it was just me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you expect anything less of me? Come on, guys. Uh, but yeah, definitely check that out. Just wanted to give a shout out to that mod real quick, just because they did an update and they updated it something that's fantastic, something that I've really been wanting for a long time. Uh, if you guys, like, I guess the the long time viewers will probably remember me occasionally talking about really wanting to have a tavern style uh, room for guests to where we can have like a bar type area and then have little guest rooms off to the side that way they could come in, they could hang out, they could sleep, they could eat, drink, and you know, do stuff and then leave, not just kind of wander around and sleep on your kitchen floor or your freezer floor or in your barn or kill your animals because they go berserk in your barn. You guys, it sounds like a super fancy update. It really does. <laughs> Check it out. Are we still... Is that just... Is it still the one? Or did we get the other one? I guess we got the other one. Hunter! Hunter's up and about! <gasps> did we get herbal... Oh, guys. We got herbal medicine? Did that happen? How did... Oh, we... We did aloe. Does that just straight up turn into herbal medicine? Where did it all go? Is it down here? There it is right there. Bundle of aloe leaves. I don't think we can do anything with that. Uh, just raw, I mean. We can make this herb medicine kit, uh, which takes aloe and cloth. Let's go ahead and make a few of these. Let's try to do it until we have ten of them. Uh, I don't know if we have any raw cloth right now. Textiles, just cloth. I don't think we do. We do, we actually have a little bit. Okay, nice, we'll be able to make some herbal medicine. Oh, that's so, so good. Um, yeah, that's great. Hunter, welcome to, to walking. That's fantastic. You really, really want a melee weapon, don't you? And you're greedy and depressive and steadfast. You can have a sh well, you can have a tusk. We have a lot of tusks floating around right now. All right, this feels like a pretty good episode. We had some epic combat going on. Uh, we're mining into the plasteel, but I guess that's okay. It won't, it won't necessarily hurt to have it. I guess I'll just say that. It'll just take a little while. Um, but yeah, we, we had some epic combat. At least I thought it was epic. That Seriously, that hero moment from Molded Salad was just like... I wanted to stand up and scream. That was so epic. I was so scared for Zink's life. And Salad saved him. Clearly salad saves lives, guys, so maybe eat a salad once in a while. But not that salad, because that would be cannibalism. And also, he's a hero. I'm chatting with JC. Yes, we're making herb med kits. Feels pretty good. These actually do have to be refrigerated. Uh, kind of like the... I guess the herb medicine kits don't have to be refrigerated. They have a really long shelf life. I believe it lasts over, uh, over one in-game year. Um... This, I'm not actually sure what its lifespan is. It says five per day. Oh my, that's a lot. Uh, so we're gonna keep these in here, but it's really good medicine apparently. It's like, I think it's better than regular, just straight up medicine. Um, I'm not sure how it compares to Glitter World medicine. Cold Snap though, that actually really sucks. <laughs> that actually really sucks. Uh, especially because we don't have heated sun lamps, and I still haven't remedied that by adding them back in. 
Well, we're going to deal with it, guys. We're going to handle it. We're going to handle it, but not in this episode. We're going to handle it in the next episode. Hopefully no one dies. We can definitely afford to get some heaters up. We have enough steel, and we have enough battery power. Eclipse is still happening, but that's okay. Still haven't done manual priorities, but that's okay. Everything's kind of working out for us. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, and as always, thanks for watching, and have a good one.